This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Thank you so much for giving me early access to this pack and allowing me to participate in this program. Hey guys, Zoria here, um, and this is a rant video. Hi! <laughs> Um, if you guys didn't know, um, I am a member of the EA Game Changers program. Um, I was given early access to this pack um, to showcase um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Um, overall, I absolutely love Island Living. Um, this rant is a little more to do with off the grid. Um, you guys may have seen a little tad um, bit of my ranting in my off the grid video. Um, so in this video, we're going to focus on the things that I think are wrong with the off the grid um, lot trait. Um, there's a lot of things that work that shouldn't, a lot of things that don't work, that should, um, and a lot of weird things. And I think we should talk about it. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so right here, um, you guys may have recognized this uh, lot, um, if I can get it to work. This is a tiny cove um, lot that I created. I did a speed build right before um, Island Living came out. Um, so if you haven't already, check that video out. Um, so this is my sim, uh, Skyla. I ha did make her as um, part of... Um, with like, I updated her with all the island living stuff and she's living in this tiny little house. You will notice that there's some like weird random things sitting around um, because I placed them down to see if they work, okay? So let's start with a few things that work that shouldn't because WTF, okay? So this, if you guys do not know, is an electronic digi-rad keyboard. This DigiRad keyboard works in off the grid. This is a no electricity house. And yet, my sim can play this electronic keyboard. WTF, okay? The piano makes perfect sense. The giant grand piano, or if we had like a baby grand piano, perfect sense. This electronic keyboard, no. Please no, let's not, okay? Um, this which, do we have any trash? Uh, this right here happens to be the electronic trash can. <laughs> can we use this trash can, you ask? <gasps> Why, yes, we can! 10 simoleons for us <laughs> while this electronic trash can does its thing. No, thank you. <laughs> Sims, please, can we please get control of our lives, okay? Um, the next thing that really bothers me um, is this right here. You may notice like, hey Zill, why do you have a dishwasher in the middle of your tiny home? Well, let me show you. Hey Sim, can you please um, have a quick meal? How about a ham and cheese sandwich? I don't have any mods, so I can't cheat her needs right now, but how about you have a ham and cheese sandwich? Oh no, I don't want you to eat a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> how about we put it in the dishwasher? Oh look, it's washing the dishes! Weird! I thought we didn't have plumbing! <laughs> or electricity! What? <laughs> we have plumbing and electricity by magic? Holy heck! What? Okay, but then, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that then you click here and you're like, wash your hands. Plumbing doesn't work off the grid. What? <laughs> How did my dishwasher work? Weird. <laughs> this don't even make sense. And then you come out here because I did laundry just a minute ago. And I'm like, can't replace my water. <laughs> you can't clean your wash bin. I apparently have the inability to dump my wash bin out. And, or my wash tub or whatever, out into the flowers and walking in here to the shower that works <laughs> and adding more water to it. But my dishwasher works. <laughs> WTF. Okay, so then 
This isn't like a horrible thing that doesn't work. This is just a thing that annoys me, okay? So the radios don't work. That's fine. Radio probably shouldn't work. Not a big deal. That doesn't bother me. The problem though is, is instead of it giving us the options or saying this doesn't work off the grid, it just took away all the options and just says upgrade. That is the issue on all of the radios. Um, and that is really annoying, okay? So I haven't tested this one out, the earbuds so I don't know if they work so let's see let's put these in our inventory and see if they work I feel like they should because they're an independent device um and nope they sure do not um I don't really understand why my earbuds wouldn't work off the grid like I get it sort of I mean I probably can't recharge them but I feel like I could go to the library recharge my um earbuds and then like move on you know um so it's very frustrating that there isn't a kitchen sink that gives you the ability to quickly wash or quickly, um, quickly wash your dishes or quickly brush your teeth. Okay, it really bothers me that there isn't an option for that because th there is this sink and you can also use the base game general sink like the one that everybody buys for Drifter and that works, but there is not a kitchen sink that works. This one doesn't work. You can't do anything with it. That really bothers me, okay? So the next thing that bothers me is several candles work, okay? So when you click on the candles, oh, that's the door. When you click on the candles, you get this option to turn it on, this room, all candles, um, turn off, this room, all candles. So if I go to turn on all candles, the all candles don't turn on. Look at this candle's not on. And at first I was like, oh, well, maybe this isn't a candle. But if I turn it on, it turns on. What the flip? Um, the next thing that's really frustrating is if you go into build mode and you go to find a light, there's only one hanging light option that is working. Um, and that hanging light option is the one from, see, this one doesn't work. Um, this one doesn't work, does it? Maybe this one. Nope, it doesn't. I was pretty sure. Um, the only one that does work is the one from Vampires, which is okay because it's great and it works and that's all good. Uh, the problem, though, is, is that style doesn't go with anything else. Like, it only goes with stuff from the Vampire Pack. Like, that's all that matches it. And so that really flippin' bothers me. Um, you know... Overall, getting, um, having island, or not island living, but having the ability to do off the grid is great. The problem though is, is I don't know, like, it, it's just so inconsistent. It really bothers me, the inconsistency. I don't understand how come my refrigerator works, and yeah, like, I can't cook everything. I can't make a grilled cheese, although I think I maybe can. No. Oh, cook with gas. Oh, okay. So I can make grilled cheese and eggs, which is fine. Uh, maybe there's a couple of other things you can make later. But it's really weird that... it. Like, I don't like that this doesn't say it works off the grid. Um, I do like that you we have the option to use it. That's really nice. Like, I do want to use it. Um, but I don't understand how come this tablet allows me to play a game e-read and view a notebook and it somehow charges by, by magic but my headphones don't charge by magic like what is up with that um and the reason that it's a problem like it wouldn't be a problem except for the fact that getting living off the grid is already hard hard enough like my sim isn't going to be happy with uh about anything, you know, she's going to have a hard time getting her skills up, or not skills, the skill part will be pretty easy, um, but she's going to have a hard time getting her um, fun up, and then to take away the, like, one thing that I thought I could use, I was like, oh, I'll be able to use earbuds, and then when I'm getting skills up, I'll still get some fun, so I can paint with my earbuds on, um, and that kind of thing, and it'll be fine, so the tablet works, but the earbuds don't, mm, I don't like that, uh, I suppose if I was playing off the grid in a way where that electronic thing wouldn't even exist, it wouldn't bother me so much. But man, the, I will tell you what, this trash can 
the dishwasher and the dishwasher and that keyboard really bug me. Um, it's also a huge thing that um, the radios don't say that they don't function off the grid for whatever reason. The earbuds do. You know, they're like, oh, well, that it doesn't function off the grid, but the radios just have it turned off. Um, but probably the number one horrible thing that they have done, number one and two, is that we can't use the one item in the game that was basically made for playing off the grid. Like, the one item in the whole entire all Sims packs that were made for playing off the grid, the laundry tub doesn't function. It doesn't function because you can only use it once. So I'm just supposed to buy a new one every time I need to do my laundry? Like, I can take a shower, but I can't empty out my laundry bucket. Like, that is absolute ludicrous. Absolute ludicrous. And I'm sure that it was just an oversight on the guru's part, um, the game developers, the um, designers part. You know, and I want to make it very, very clear that this is in no way, shape or form a personal um, thing against anyone or any against the gurus at all. I am an avid um, proponent for supporting and loving the gurus and never yelling and lashing out to them. Um, but I'm really upset about this and I can't just not say something because I'm really upset. And hopefully me making this video and saying something will encourage them to fix it immediately. Um, the other thing that is a huge issue is you can't fill a, a tub. Like you cannot fill a bathtub, not a single bathtub in the entire game can you fill, um, which, okay, your Sims can't take baths, but the problem is you can't bathe your children. You can't bathe your toddlers. My toddlers will be dirty forever. They can't get clean. It's just not possible. Um, so you can't have toddlers off the grid, which is a huge, it's a huge issue. Um, it's basically a deterrent to me to the ability to even play with this lot trait. Um, this lot trait was probably the number one thing that I was excited about when um, the it was first announced. Um, when we first saw the fact that this was going to be a thing, I jumped for joy. I screamed and squealed. Um, a lot of you guys were there. I freaked out. Um, and this is a huge issue. I don't understand um, how so many things were missed. I mean, it's a huge pack. Um, it was a huge update before the pack. Um, and I, I guess I can see why everything wouldn't be perfect. You know, like, misspellings or like things that are left off in the word menu or whatever like those things are all things that I expect whenever something has to be done really quickly um however it kind of seems like I don't know it was just like missed and it's such a blaringly obvious thing to me like the second that I realized that that couldn't happen I was like holy crap this is a big deal and it was like I I mean, I don't know, like, who, who is testing this stuff? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't want this to come off in a way that is like, oh man, Zill's really attacking the gurus because I'm not. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I swear I do. Um, I think that something in the way that you, that the gurus test these types of changes needs to change. And I know that it's hard because the ideal per people to test these types of changes is the game changers. Um, like that is the ideal people to test this. However, um, not a single game changer that went to EA Play said anything about this. So I'm curious if, they're, if they have game changers that they're inviting to events that play the way that I play. Um, and just because... These types of things are, like, I have seen so many speed builds, so many videos about building and so many things, but not a lot of, like, gameplay that explored this many things, like, that explored this stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I didn't see any videos about any of the new fishing changes, gardening changes, any of that stuff. And those are the things that I am stoked about. Uh, so I think that there needs to be some sort of change to how you know, maybe how you're selecting who play tests your game. I mean, something because, I mean, this is a big deal for me. Like I have planned an entire LP series 
around this lot trait and I can't play it. I can't do it. Um, I have to wait for modders to hopefully fix it or hope that there's some sort of maintenance patch that comes out immediately that rectifies some of this stuff. Um, and I think that it is excusable to um, miss adding in usability to a couple of items, but I don't know that it that I feel like it's a different situation to have left in so many items. I feel like um, taking away like the functionality of all items that use electricity, it, you know, it's like every item that gets turned off when you don't pay your bills no longer works. So make it so that they don't, it's like you didn't pay your bills. And then you add it in to other things. So needing to add in to other, to more items, I feel like that's completely excusable. The other part, I don't know. It's it's tough. I'm really struggling with this uh, off the grid thing and um, it's a big deal for me. It, it It's a huge part of how I play my game. Um, and I don't know. I was so, so excited about this and I'm almost... I like I made a tweet a few minutes ago that was like rages and cries and simlish like that's how I feel like I'm I'm really upset and frustrated and like disappointed and I feel all these things and I'm just like oh my gosh please fix it please everything that is holy please fix it <laughs> please um but please know that like I love the sims and I love the gurus and I know that they all work so hard and mistakes happen and things get missed and things don't work the way that you intend them for them um you know it's not like that the off the grid thing was like the front part of this expansion part where they were like guys we're getting off the grid and it was like this huge big deal and then it didn't work like it was just like a little other thing that they were like adding in that they knew people would be excited about and it doesn't work right you know it kind of is what it is, but I'm still frustrated. I'm really upset. Um, as I said at the beginning of this, this is a ranting video. And <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so frustrated. But, you know, I'm going to try to make it work. I'll probably do a couple more videos to see how um, everything plays out as far as like getting your skills, keeping your sim happy, um, living your life, trying to find a way to have talk like you just can't have children off the grid you just can't do it um I haven't seen anybody testing whether or not your your sims can get like your toddlers can get any um hygiene back from playing in the ocean like maybe that's a thing and then it won't be such a big deal um the only problem is is if that's the only way that you can get your uh hygiene up then maybe that means that you can only like, you can only play off the grid in Sulani. I don't know. Um, I haven't done any testing to find out if toddlers can go in um, any other zones. You know, like, you know that you can wade in in some areas of the world um, or of the, of the sim worlds. Maybe toddlers can play in some of those areas. I don't know. Um, I haven't tried it. So maybe that's what I'll do right now. Um, but I love you guys to pieces. And thank you so much, EA, again, for um, giving me this this copy. I know that some of you guys are probably going to put some comments down below about how negative this video was. Um, please understand that the gurus 100% understand that not everybody is going to love everything and that we're going to do videos that say that we're not happy with things. And they expect it. And in the most part, if it's done tastefully, they actually um, appreciate it because it does tell them what needs to change and what they need to do better and um, where we're coming from. But again, I love you guys to pieces. Have a good afternoon, Puzzleverse, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.